Okay, here we are hunt number two in Alaska. You're gonna need your muzzle loader for this. Go ahead and examine those bear tracks. Uh, pick your muzzle loader. Go on down by the water. And you'll scare the bears off for the first time. Go ahead and skip that. Move over this way. As you head over this way, you'll come down to the river and cross the river on the log. Uh, Head on up the hill here, there's going to be some tracks right here. Okay, as you approach the corner up here, he's going to tell you that, that the bears are close and you'll alert them. Crouch down because you will scare them off like instantly if you walk any past that. So go ahead and examine those tracks there. Move on up the hill. As you come up this crest up here, he's going to tell you that uh, that you need to place your lures and all that at the little cutscene. Go ahead and skip that. Move your way on down the hill, right here by this tree, the far right one there that you can see in this view. That's where you're going to place your uh, scent tracks. You do have to stay crouched. kind of sucks because it takes a long time to walk down there this way. Uh, there's three animal tracks uh, down there by that uh, we can either do it at the one uh, we can either put our our bear scent on the one by this tree or we can put it at the ones that are a little further away um, I'm not sure if it makes them go any further but we're gonna try it out and see if we can get a little bit more of a, a lead on the bears when they try to run off now there's one animal tracks here I'm trying to remember where the other ones at exactly I know there's one uh, right around in here somewhere is some foot tracks. Uh. Okay, we must be getting close to it because he's talking about animal signs. So we'll just go ahead and walk around. And look for it. Now, for you people who don't give a crap, you don't really have to do this. Um, there's, you don't get nothing extra. All you do is make your, uh, oh, here's the other poop right there. And then, like I said, there's some foot tracks. Here they are. Go ahead and examine that. We'll go ahead and put our bear scent right here on these ones. Make sure you select it and don't have your moose call still from the last time you used it. All right, now we're going to go ahead and go to cover. Up in them trees up there. Okay, go ahead and get up in your cover, crouch down, wait for the bears, they're going to come over there, see where our scent is, they're going to come from this way, and what's going to happen is, once you shoot the first one, the second one's going to book it up this hill back where we came from, and you got to make your way out there, and you got to kill him before he gets over that hill. Mm, that's the reason I put the animal scent way over there, that way they'll, they'll move the furthest away from that hill is possible that way he has a longer distance to run gives you a little bit more time to reload in between shots because this is a muzzle loader hunt so unfortunately you can't use anything but that so yeah it kinda sucks but it's not that bad <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and wait for their asses to get out there they go super slow which is what really sucks um, if you skip this checkpoint Okay, so we're going to let them watch. Now watch that back bear, because sometimes he will turn and go back like he is right now. And you need to take him out, which I didn't manage to do. Um, but you pretty much get the point. Uh, just shoot him. As soon as it's... Okay, hold on. This one's running off here. I wounded the other one, so let's see if we can get them both. Okay, I wounded that one too. So now they both slow. So I'm going to get this one that's a little further up first. I don't know why I'm using iron sights. Okay, we got that one. Now this other one's going real slow right here beside me. So it shouldn't be much of an issue to get him either. Go ahead and reload uh, and take a shot at him when we get the chance here. Okay, there we go. We got them both. Um, I didn't even know that you could do that, to be honest with you. Uh, I've never wounded them like that, but there you go. Uh, for this 
on here. Um, now the next place we're gonna go is to the second optional hunt. This is a good place to get your uh, hip fire achievement, killing 10 animals from the hip. I've already got it on this account, so I'm not gonna be able to show you it popping up, but I, I can tell you this is where I got mine. You just go ahead and hunt ptarmigans, and then blast up in the air with your shotgun, like that, you know? And see how you hit them like that? Once you hit them, uh, it'll count. Every one of those you hit like this, just shooting randomly up in the air, every one you hit will count. So once, if you haven't got any of these, once you get your count down to 10 left, you should get your achievement for the hip shot. See, and just try and shoot into groups like that so you can get some. Uh, you won't always get some, but, you know, it's not a big deal. You got plenty of time. You get like two and a half minutes for this spot. So just, you know, like I said, just try and get it down to 10. Once you get it down to 10, sometimes you can get a couple at a time. I don't know how I didn't get any right there or there. But basically, yeah, you can just go ahead and hit fire right here. And then once you're done doing that, just go ahead and restart from checkpoint and restart this hunt. So see, I need two more. See if we can get them right here. Apparently, I didn't hit a single one. That's amazing to me. There we go, there's one, and there's two. There we go, down to 10, your achievement will pop. Like I said, I already have it on this account, so it's not gonna pop. And this concludes the first part of Area 2, Check Part 2 for the completion.